Well, for all those people out there that have been asking, Rick, how's your daughter doing? She's out of the hospital. She's kind of cripply walking around, but she's out. Hey, everybody. So, yeah, on with the vlog. You're getting infused. Do you feel it when it goes in? Well, I spent at least two hours with my daughter, went to the infusion center, which was interesting. I have to go, I have to leave for work. I'm looking forward to it, I'm looking forward to work. I mean, I'm already driving around. I might as well get paid for it. Oh, from one vehicle to another. The fun of moving. Looks like you're almost ready to go back to work. Are you ready almost? You ready to go out on the big road? Mm hmm? Ready to, go, ready to go enjoy life across the United States? Well, I'm getting all my camera gear that I'm taking with me. Got pretty much everything ready to go. I'm gonna leave all this stuff up here. I'm not taking any of this camera stuff. No need for it at the moment. Pretty much got everything packed except for the litter box, the cat food, and the cat. She knows we're leaving. She's hiding somewhere. I'm assuming under the couch, underneath one of the chairs. She knows we're leaving. She doesn't want to go. She loves it within this place. This is her second home, but she wants to treat it like it's her first home. But actually her first home is that red vehicle out there. That's the one she travels the most miles in. She just doesn't have the room in it. And anytime I pull up that truck, after coming back for from days off getting ready to head out on the road she sees it out the front window and she goes hiding but i got i got a way to get her out i tempt her with temptations all i need to do is open that bag she comes running oh yeah but today i'm gonna play it smart oh see what i mean there she is she thought she was getting a treat already but instead of She's getting bigger now. She's not a little kitten anymore. So now when I try and pick her up and carry her from here over to there, she gets a little bit feisty. That's where this thing comes in. Thanks, Morgan, from the Superman Museum. Thanks a lot. Go in. That's the only way I'm going to get you out to the truck. You have to get, get inside there. Go. Get in. Get in your backpack. No, get in. I can't force you in it. Okay, you're trapped now, Nomadic Kitty. Nomadic Kitty, that's your new name, Nomadic Kitty. I got you trapped. Now we can get you out to the truck, sucker. Yeah, a lot of times people ask me, is that a cat on your back or are you just happy to see me? I, I got a cat on my back. Okay, she is now in the truck. Actually, it was a lot easier. The using the kitty backpack worked really easy. I think from now on, that's what I'm going to do. Now, I think I'm going to leave her leash in here. I really don't take her out outside of the truck, out on the road. It's a pain. But when we're in the RV, at least this last trip home, I took her out a couple times. She really enjoyed it. She enjoyed it so much, she didn't want to come back in. Picking her up to bringing her back inside the motorhome was rather difficult, even with the harness on. So I think wherever I take her, it's going to be in the backpack when I come home take her out of the backpack at a nice grassy area let her play put her back in the backpack bring her back into the motorhome but while I'm out on the road she's just stuck in the truck pretty much I'll be back don't meow at me don't yell at me definitely moving stuff back and forth sucks it's a little bit more difficult than packing up from Thousand Trails or something. Moving stuff 
back and forth, back and forth. Actually, this trip here, I don't think I'm going to take too much. I only plan on being gone for about 30 to 60 days, so I don't want to grab too much. I think I'm only bringing like one week's worth of clothes. That way it's easier to do laundry. The more clothes I have, the more I procrastinate and never wash clothes. I still have at least one load back there I didn't wash. Yeah, see, I procrastinate. Now, because I will be gone, I don't know if this is a good idea. I got the AC and I'm not going to let the AC run the whole time. I think I'm just going to turn the fan on. Leave the fan. Let's turn on low. Low. There's no reason to run the AC the whole time I'm gone for 30 days, but I figure the fan will circulate the air and it's probably not putting much of a strain leaving it on low. And then the dehumidifier can suck the moisture out of the air. That's, that's what I did last time and it seemed to work pretty well. Well, trusty temptations, I don't think I needed you this trip. So I think I'm just gonna bring you along and give you to her anyway, because she was a good kitty for the most part. Well, this is definitely sad. Every time I come home, I really don't want to leave. Why can't I be almost independently wealthy? I mean, I don't need to be wealthy. Just, I would like to have enough in the bank to where I can just put some gas in, travel somewhere, stay, fish, do some internet work, live off the web, live off of YouTube, and then the following month get paid from YouTube or Patreon and move on to the next place and just shoot video all over the place. I just wish I could just do that now. I just, uh, I'm, I'm excited to go back to work, but I also want to do this. The next 24 months can't come soon enough, but that, that's my goal. 24 months and I'll be doing this forever. Got a lot of work to do between now and then. Goodbye, Cousin Eddie. Just like Disney says, or Mickey Mouse, it's Mickey Mouse. See you real soon. <sighs> Hello. Hello. I got, I got your treats. I got your treats. Watch out. Get out of my seat. Get out of my seat. Well, once I started rolling here, I have, I've rolled maybe 30 feet. You, well, you just seen I just started rolling. Cat took off and hid. I don't know where she is. Normally she's up here in my lap, but she gets angry when I take her away and make her leave her home. <sighs> she'll give me the silent treatment for about two hours. Then she'll be out. She'll definitely be out before I get to the Alabama border. So many days off my body feels so much better relaxed get back in the truck drop a trailer have to kill an hour so I figure I'd lay back down in the bed with the cat an hour of laying in the truck bed my mattress back there it undid a whole week's worth of relaxation I could barely move it's like I'm paralyzed it's weird if you have a really bad mattress what it can do to your back in just a short period of time, 20 minutes. You become an invalid, invalid, invalid. You become crippled. Well, we made it up to Alabama. Oh, great. I gotta find the cat. She's still not out again. Hey. What are you doing under there? What are you doing under there? What? We made it. You can go back to sleep now. You can go back to sleep now. Anyway, guys, that's it for today's moving day. Hopefully, oh, I'm going to have enough time to myself periodically to shoot a video here and there. We'll see. No promises. But I'll come up with some ideas. I'm freshly motivated from being home. So, anyway, until the next time, please remember to like, comment, share, subscribe. Feel free to purchase a t-shirt or a nomadic hippie hat links down below until the next time guys i love you all peace out everybody